Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video review of the new ZTE Blaze Spark from AT&T on their prepay plan. Let's take a quick look at it. To begin with, let's do a 360 degree look at the box itself quickly so that uh, we don't spend too much time on this. All it has to do with um, on the box is, um, you know, their coverage says AT&T unlimited prepay and on the inside lid here it says choose a plan 30 40 and 60 and then on the side here we have um, some quick specs and also let me point out it has a fingerprint sensor and let's take a look at these quick specs here it has a 5.5 HD display 13 megapixel rear camera a 5 megapixel front camera, video 1080p, 16 gigabytes internal storage, um, an SD 128 gigabyte max, Android 7.1.1, and a outstanding battery of 3140 uh, milliamp hours. That'll last a long time. Okay, let's take a ganter at uh, unboxing this. I don't need a knife. I normally use one on boxes. And this has the simple tab, pull, and pop my thumb underneath here and open up the package. And quickly remove the phone out of the box here. Pop the plastic cover off right there. And nice picture of the phone. Let's pop that out. And we'll put that down on the table gently. And we'll pop the inner carton out and see what else is inside we have a start here manual and some warranty paperwork and we have a USB charger and USB cable and we have a sim removal tool here and we also have uh, just some paper there okay that's all that's in the box and let's take a look at the phone itself on the left side we have the sim slot here and then on top we have a 3.5 uh, head jack and then we have a microphone there and uh, we have a volume rocker button and a power button here on the right side and on the bottom we have a USB let's take a closer look USB uh, C and a uh, microphone okay um, on top on front we have the uh, earpiece and a flash or a uh, camera right there it doesn't have a flash on front but uh, on the label here we have several things here that are associated with the fingerprint sensor that you can use the fingerprint sensor for and I'll go over those uh, a little bit more in the video and uh, Let's go ahead and lift the plastic cover off the display here so that we can go ahead and push the power button and power this up. And by the way, we do have soft buttons down here and we don't have a uh, mechanical or hard button. And then, of course, up there we have the uh, receiver and camera. On the back, we have... Um, the rear camera and the fingerprint sensor or there's the flash right there and we have the fingerprint sensor right here and of course the AT&T logo and uh, we have the model number Z971 serial number and the IMEI number and ZTE also the speakers on the back this has a really super nice finish I like it and it feels good in the hand and uh, it's not too heavy either it's a light relatively light phone feels good in, in my hand and uh, let's go ahead and press the power button and power this up and the first thing we get is the ZTE powered by Android and then once that's completed it'll go ahead to the um, ZTE Blaze Spark and then we get the ATE uh, AT&T rather logo and then we get the welcome screen where we can go ahead through setup i'm going to do the setup and then come back and i am back now i've completed the setup and let's go through a few things on the phone here by swiping down clicking on the settings icon first thing up top is the fingerprint sensor which is on the back here you can use the fingerprint for um pattern pin and password so that's uh, really nice 
and let's go ahead down to about uh, or about phone rather and we'll see what else we can uh, take a quick look at we have um, model number Z971 we have Android 7.1.1 and uh, we are not at the uh, latest security patch that does need to be updated once you get this phone if you decide to buy it all right let's go back and get out of this and uh, let's see what else apps um, there's a good number of apps that are included I like most of them and as you can see the smoothness of uh, and the speed is really nice on this phone it moves right through no hesitation in my opinion and we swipe down up top again uh, you can see that the brightness um, has a auto function and this phone the uh, display gets very bright I'm not sure if you can see that on the video here or not but um, it is crisp clear and bright at its maximum setting now this is a nice feature um, your phone supports AT&T video call so if you're interested in using that that is a nice feature that this phone does support and let's see what else um, again these are soft buttons and if you know this or not they do bright uh, they they are lit they uh, to allow you to see the buttons and uh, I just went into the internet here as you can see the internet is um, it came up really quick and that depends on your internet speed or what cellular um, plan you have too as well but in essence it it's very smooth and runs fast and let's see I downloaded uh, CPU Z um, earlier so that we could see some specs here and as you can see this is running an ARM Cortex A53 1.4 gigahertz and uh, four CPUs and um, here are some uh, it has a total RAM of two uh, megabits or megabytes rather uh, let's see what else um, has nice battery sides I mentioned that and uh, sensors it has a lot of sensors almost all the sensors that you would want are in here and it's really cool that uh, I don't think it it's missing any of the sensors that you might want to use and let's go to the pictures here and uh, here are some pictures that I took of some flowers inside um, off my porch here they're crisp they're uh, very bright detail oriented the detail is nice this is uh, my cat here and uh, this is the sun is always shining on my house and here's some bright colors of uh, that you can see on a turtle and uh, the colors I want to mention the colors with this camera are so true to life excellent greens are green blues are blues and um, the darks are very well presented and uh, blue sky is true blue and here's some quick video that I took of the sky and some trees and um, that's in 1080p and it looks really nice alright um, I think that's it for the um, camera and uh, what else um, I have to tell you I still like the uh, feel of this phone and I mentioned earlier the grain on the back um, I don't know it just feels comfortable in my hand and I like it a lot so I do recommend this and it's a nice thin phone I'm impressed by it okay um, we've come to the end of this video subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like